Florida being the, you know, being the first place that everybody goes to start up their season, you see a lot of different uh, racetrack conditions down this way. Uh, East Bay here, it can be go from being real, real slimy, slick, can't get a hold of it, to um, abrasive where it's killing tires, and then it can even get a little dry slick too. So lately here, the Florida guys have been pretty, pretty good. So it's usually a good play, place to come to uh, start your season off and kind of base your program and see how, uh, how well you uh, match up against the other guys. They know these tracks very well and they know what it takes to, to be fast here throughout the night. There are some guys that when they leave Florida, they run very well, but uh, the, home, the home track advantage is definitely a big, a big advantage for them guys. And uh, when us out of town, our guys come, come in here, and there's a bunch of traveling guys that run very well, but um, you know, you'll see, just especially this week, that the Florida guys have been doing very well and, and uh, very respectable for themselves. The cars are so different now, the modified, side of it it's it's almost a little bit frustrating too because the difference between a, an open ump car and an imca car is night and day you can't the days of having a combo car now are, are long gone but um you pretty much got to have three different cars if you want to run competitive in all all the different series so uh, when we start building a car for somebody that's our first question is what series are you going to plan on running this thing in and what um you know what so we know what rules we have to go by and nowadays the modified world is getting very competitive and um there's a lot of guys that are trying to get the trickle down effect from the NASCAR stuff to the to the late model world and, and, and down to us. So anything we can do to shorten that curve up with um, working with different people always helps. And probably one of the only modified guys really that do a, pretty much all the sanctioning bodies. And um, we got to build a lot of different cars and uh, uh, being with Longhorn here, we get to see a lot of the late model stuff. And uh, hopefully we'll be doing some of the late model stuff here. Uh, we're supposed to do it at the end of last year, but uh, I think it'll get pushed off a little bit till, till this year. So uh, I'm really excited about doing that with the, the Longhorn guys. They they know the late model world very well, so it's awesome to be uh, aligned with guys like that. And uh, we got the modified program going pretty good here as well. It's nice to have a small group of guys that can be on the same program as you and and uh, be able to work with some guys that are uh, in different parts of the country and and are on the inside circle, so so to speak. And uh, kind of shortens their, their learning curve a little bit and helps us as well sometimes to try new things. We're going to start out a lot with the uh, with the open car here and then um, we're going to go do some uh, USMTS stuff out in Kansas and then uh, some IMCA stuff at Marshalltown. They got that 10,000 to win show and then uh, once we get to the middle of the season we're going to do the IMCA stuff pretty hard. They got a lot of big money races there and and uh, we've we had a lot of success with that last year. We won a lot of their big money races and uh, and then just kind of a mixture. Wherever they're paying money, we're probably gonna probably gonna show up, and you'll see you'll see us if there's gonna be a big money show, and then work some of the late model stuff in as well. Probably start out doing some crate late model stuff, and then see where it goes.